Today we are making a video on Easy Peasy Linux 1.6. It's pretty weird name but let's try to boot it in a live mode. I randomly found this Linux distro on SourceForge. Uh, it says uh, Easy Peasy uh, which is uh, commonly used in uh, our daily life. So this is the Linux distro which is called uh, Easy Peasy 1.6 as you can see. I think this is a Ubuntu based Linux distro. I don't, uh, I didn't read anything. I just uh, found this funny, and I'm trying to make a video on it. I'm just going to show you the their website in the process of uh, making this video. So these are the options available. Here is the file manager, accessories. These are the apps, games, uh, graphics, internet, office, sound, system. This is a simple Linux distro as you can see here. There's nothing uh, weird or anything, just a simple Linux distro. Let's uh, try to change the display monitor. Uh, and we don't have a 1920 or a 1366 or a 16 to 9 ratio Linux uh, resolution. We just have a 854 into 480. There's no available uh, resolutions. So let's try to choose this thing, keep the configuration, let's close this thing and let's try to open the system monitor. So we should see how much uh, resources are consuming. Ignore my mouse uh, sound because uh, my mic is going to record everything. Here is the CPU uh, under 20% and the memory is just uh, 169 MB. It should be a uh, lightweight Linux distro if you ask me the, it's just a simple uh, lightweight Linux distro and the Ubuntu version should be 10.4 uh, I guess you see this is a old version uh, let's try to use it like that a gnome version is a 2.3.0 which is pretty much uh, old and here are the process uh, running right now Let's maximize this thing. Can't even maximize this thing. At least uh, let's try to. These are the resources which I already showed. The RAM is slow or low. So let's close this thing and uh, open the terminal if you if we can see the terminal. Let's try to see the terminal. I don't know where is the terminal let's uh, try to find terminal it's not under system it should be under system but it's not under system so these are the apps which comes pre-installed here is the terminal which is uh, in accessories let's try to put in some important commands like inxi-sv8 if it's available it should be giving the info Come on, not found. No problem. Let's type in uname uh, dash a should be giving a kernel version. The kernel version is a 2.6.32.21 dash 21, not point 21. Let's type in the same command in a short way, which is a uname dash r. And this is the kernel version. Let's type in cat cat etc issue and uh, hit enter ubuntu version is a 10.04 long term support uh, it should be end of the uh, linux distro because it's almost 10.04 uh, i don't know when it was released like a 10 or 15 years back i guess so let's type in htop if it's available sudo apt-get install uh, uh, htop let's try to copy this terminal and uh, paste it here and hit enter it's not found no problem let's exist this thing and let's go through some of the apps here let's first quickly open the firefox and i'm going to show you the their official website i think uh, internet is also not working here it says it's uh, connected but uh, let's refresh this thing if it's let's type in google.com and 
hit enter. I think it should open. I'm using a VPN, so it triggered the Google uh, recapture. So let's go with uh, DuckDuckGo dot com and hit enter. Try again. type it in here let's see what are the search engines available I don't know Yahoo is working uh, right now or not let's type in DuckDuckGo the internet is working but there is some issue here I don't know what it is the Google capture is also not working the internet is working but it doesn't allow me to open this thing let's uh, try to put the uh, duckduckgo.com again duckduckgo.com I think we should need to add HTTPS here even the keyboard is not working properly because it's a uh, old Linux distro let's click on enter it's not working again if you want to find this uh, Linux distro just uh, search in a uh, just try to open the Google search engine or any search engine you like uh, open the source forge and uh, in source forge just type in easy peasy uh, Linux distro and you will be having a website if you want to read it you can read it I can't to open the or use the browser right now so I'm just going to going with the installation process let's see the installation process it should be same as the uh, same type of uh, Ubuntu because the installation process same in every Ubuntu first you need to choose the language click on forward setting up the clock getting the time from a network time server this is a old installation style uh, I don't even know properly how it works let's uh, try to explore with you I'm going to explore with you or uh, learn for you with you so let's try to change the location I'm choosing United States uh, Los Angeles click on forward and a keyboard layout I'm going to choose United States you can choose anything you want click on forward so this is the installation type I'm using a VMware a virtualization with a 80 GB of hard disk 4 GB of RAM and two processors so this Linux distro is almost I guess uh, it's uh, not alive I guess uh, if you want to test you just try uh, test it in a live mode uh, don't just go with installation this uh, it's not even uh, having updates so it's always better to stay out of this type of Linux distros I didn't have any content so I'm just uh, explore I was just exploring the source forge for a uh, content and we found uh, the new Linux distro I didn't made a, a video on this uh, before I made every Linux distro which was uh, discontinued or alive or not released like that so I made all types of uh, Linux distros so uh, nothing is wrong if you try li another Linux distro or a new Linux distro so let's uh, click on forward and you need to use your username password and then you should be giving the installation so I'm just going to end it here this is a common or a simple thing so we don't even want to use this Linux distro we just uh, want to see how it looks so let's quit it just for the knowledge we are using this Linux distro or uh, working with this Linux distro so on the files let's check the file manager let me see the version not at least 2.30.0 let's close this thing Ubuntu software center I think this is working or not let's see I don't know how the Ubuntu software center was before 
because uh, when I was small, I didn't use uh, uh, Ubuntu or uh, Linux distros. I was using uh, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 98 like that. So these are the apps. On the sound and audio, you will be having some of the apps. On the graphics, you should be having a GIMP, I guess. We have a blender here. I don't know GIMP was available in uh, Ubuntu uh, 10. It should be available. Here is a GIMP image editor. That's good. Because it's also uh, from the old, uh, from past uh, 10 years or 15 years. I don't know when, when properly. But uh, here is the internet. These are the some of the apps. So we we'll just uh, end this thing because we don't want to go in a deep because it's not even a, a latest Linux issue. We are just exploring or just checking out on the system. Just a simple few apps. We have a Snaptic package manager. A version should be the latest version is like a 0.91, I guess. This is 0.62.5. Let's close this thing. We saw files, accessories, just a simple accessories which is uh, usually seen in every Ubuntu uh, Linux distro. On the graphics side, just a few. Picasa is discontinued. Uh, I guess uh, like uh, in 2015, I guess. I don't know properly the date. When was it? Uh, it was discontinued. And here are some of the apps. Office. We don't have library office because uh, uh, we have open office here. On the sound, just uh, some apps, and this is the system. Let's quickly see the system monitor and uh, end this video because there's nothing in it. It's just a old Ubuntu Linux distro. I was just exploring and just want to uh, show you this uh, Linux distro because it's a funny name, easy peasy. You don't hear that in any operating system, or no one names like that. So it was funny so I made, I was making a video on it so here is the video resources the RAM is almost uh, good but if it is uh, uh, still releasing the latest updates it should be good and they should be reusing the Ubuntu latest version and the RAM should be going uh, crazy again like we usually see in our Ubuntu uh, latest versions so this is the uh, system monitor let's close this thing and end the video Again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. It helps make a good content for you. Other than that, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.